Three head decks, high quality recording and playback mechanisms aimed at enthusiasts, have come down in cost and become familiar to us. A thorough audition of the latest models. The three head deck, which produces high quality sound with an appropriate head gap, allows simultaneous monitoring while recording. Three head types are attracting attention as cassette decks in the digital age. So why are three head decks attracting attention instead of two head decks? The answer is, simply put, that they sound better. Of course, this does not mean that two head decks sound bad. Three head decks allow you to pursue better sound than two head decks. In audio, there is a philosophy that says, simple is best. The fewer unnecessary things you have, the simpler and smoother the signal flow becomes, and there is no signal loss in between. As a result, the sound quality improves. From this alone, it may seem that two head decks are simpler and better than three head decks, but this is a big mistake. Let me explain this in detail. Recording is the process of magnetizing magnetic tape. To put it simply, it's like lining up magnets of different strengths and sizes on a cassette tape. The head has a gap, and during recording, this is where the magnetic force that matches the input signal is generated. You can think of it as the point where the magnets to be lined up on the tape are released. Naturally, if the head gap is widened, the work of lining up the magnets will be more efficient. In other words, recording will be more efficient. The playback head also needs a gap to read the strength and size of the magnets and convert them into sound, but conversely, if the playback head's gap is not narrow, it will have trouble reading small magnets. If the gap is wide, even several small magnets lined up will be read as a single magnet. In other words, the narrower the gap on the playback head, the better it is at reading small magnets. And the small magnets are the high frequencies. As you can see, a three-head deck has independent recording slash playback slash erase heads, so the wide gap recording head records efficiently without signal loss, and the narrow gap playback head improves high frequency characteristics and picks up all the subtle nuances. However, with a two-head deck, only the erase head is independent, and the recording head and playback head are the same. In other words, one head is sometimes used as a recording head and sometimes as a playback head. So if you widen the gap to record efficiently, you won't be able to get the high frequency characteristics during playback, and if you narrow the gap to improve the high frequency characteristics, recording efficiency will decrease. So the gap setting is inevitably somewhere in between the two. Even though we know that the cost will increase with the number of heads, three heads are still worth it. Another thing that can only be done with three heads is simultaneous monitoring while recording. Since the recording head and playback head are independent, you can play back the sound while recording. For example, when recording a CD to tape, you can compare the sound of the CD with the sound recorded on the tape while recording to check the changes in sound. Recent models are equipped with a bias tuning mechanism, so it is easy to tune the CD sound to be the same as the sound recorded on the tape. In other words, a three-head deck can make the most of the bias tuning mechanism. Rather than leaving the recording entirely to the deck, you can check the sound with your own ears and get closer to the original sound, or create a sound to your liking. In other words, you can participate in the recording yourself and bring out the full potential and characteristics of the tape. That is why enthusiasts who are picky about sound love three-head decks. Denon DR-70 64,800 yen A full-fledged deck with an orthodox design. The ceramic composite cassette stabilizer, visible in white behind the cassette lid, is impressive. This suppresses the micro-vibrations of the half, stabilizing the tape run and reducing modulation noise. The head, which determines the sound, uses an amorphous core and PCOCC winding, improving high-frequency characteristics MOL, 
and wear resistance. Dolby HX Pro is a given. In terms of functionality, if you press the Rec Return button when a recording fails, the microcomputer will return to the recording start position memorized by the microcomputer, which is very convenient. The bias fine adjust allows you to adjust the bias amount. In addition to the line input, it is equipped with a CD direct terminal. Another feature is that it has an output volume. The display is large and shows everything, including the operating mode. The linear time digital counter has a tape size selector and the numbers are large and easy to read. When you operate it, you can tell how little mechanical noise there is. The adoption of a silent mechanism that further develops the idea of increasing the chassis rigidity and making it resistant to external vibrations, and suppresses internal mechanical noise and vibrations, is the best in terms of allowing you to enjoy the sound in a pleasant way. The sound has good high frequency characteristics and extends energetically to the high end, so it is somewhat hard and tense. The reproduction of high frequency attack sounds and speedy crackling sounds that require fine detail expression is magnificent, and the sharpness of the sound's rise makes it feel like it packages the CD sound without leaving anything behind. The bass has a sense of density, with modest volume and elasticity. It's a crisp, pure bass that feels like all the unnecessary stuff has been cut out. The sound image is positioned slightly higher, with sharp contours. The extension towards the low end is decent. The sense of range is good. This is a model that lets you fully enjoy the brightness, brilliance, transparency, resolution, and speed of sound. TIAC V680 59,800 yen a wooden side panel is standard equipment, and this model is skillfully designed to create a sense of luxury. In terms of design, it follows the company's traditional look. The depth of 275mm is compact compared to other models. A heavyweight vibration damping cabinet was adopted with an emphasis on increasing mass and rigidity. The cabinet weighs about 2 kilograms, twice as much as the previous model, and is designed to be unaffected by external vibrations. A heavy flywheel and a cassette lid made of high-rigidity hard resin also contribute to the stability of the tape running. The head is made of high-hardness permalloy. The head position has been tuned with an emphasis on head touch. Equipped with Dolby HX Pro to improve high-frequency recording capabilities, other functions include an auto monitor that automates tape slash source switching and bias fine tuning. The preset master volume also uses independent L slash R fine adjustment volumes to allow for delicate recording level adjustments like an enthusiast. One thing that bothers me about operating it is the mechanical noise. It is not noticeable when fast forwarding or rewinding, but occurs when playing slash stopping. The click sound is particularly noticeable when playing. The sound is calm and easy to listen to. It has the adaptability to accurately respond to any source. The high range extends naturally and is not unpleasant. It has just the right amount of brilliance and is able to express detail well. This unit is equipped with a linear recording amplifier, which is likely responsible for the straightforwardness of the high frequencies. The low frequencies are thick and stable, but the volume is modest. The echo is also tight, and the reverberation tends to disappear quickly. Vocals are well balanced and positioned in the center. The sound image is somewhat compact, but the energy balance is good, so the positioning is stable. It doesn't have a unique character that makes it stand out, but it's an all-around deck for adults that can handle any source. 3-Head Deck Catalog In addition to the four we listened to, this is a catalog of popular models with attractive high CP 3-Head Decks available from each manufacturer. Sony TC K600 53,800 yen 
a high CP model that pursues sound quality and enhances functions at an affordable price. The laser amorphous head with LCOFC winding achieves signal transmission with little loss. The twinlock cassette holding mechanism securely holds the cassette half in place, ensuring stable tape running. The company's CD player allows you to easily record CDs synchronously with the wireless remote control, and is packed with functions such as music search and bias fine tuning. Pioneer K636 53,800 yen. The latest model just released on September 25th. This high CP model inherits the design philosophy of higher end models, such as direct construction that shortens the signal path and increases the purity of the sound, cassette stabilizer that eliminates resonance and vibration, honeycomb chassis, and large insulators. The head uses PCOCC windings. The playback head is a laser amorphous type with excellent frequency characteristics. The power supply is also powerful achieving dynamic sound. Victor TD V631 65,000 yen A model that emphasizes pure signal transmission. It has two direct input terminals that can be directly input from a CD player, an NR defeat circuit that bypasses the Dolby circuit when Dolby is off, and a shortest signal path design that makes the signal path the shortest route, all designed with the purest signal transmission in mind. It is also fully equipped with a half-shell stabilizer that eliminates vibration and resonance.